Oh, goodness, fancy seeing you here. What's going on beautiful people? How are you guys doing today? Ciao ciao, ni hao, sin ciao, see ya, as they say in Hungarian. I find it quite amusing because it's an English goodbye, see ya. It's also a Hungarian hello. So you learn something new every day, yeah? So I am picking up where I left the last one off, exactly. We're going to uh, check out this incredible spot. I've got no idea what this is, but we're going to head over to that sign and hopefully learn a little bit about it. I haven't really been taking pictures, so... Yeah. But I've only got so much juggling I can do. So the, um, the plan is to just uh, take the GoPro around for the remainder of this site. I've, I've done some lives on YouTube, I've done some lives on TikTok. They're all a bit different, so be sure to head over there, check them out, follow their adventures, share them with your friends if you think they might be interested. So they're saying this is a large dwelling house. But where are the pillars? That's what I want to know. I reckon that's part of a house. I don't really know, guys. I don't really know. It's a big house. If, it's, if this is just a house, rich people's houses, eh? From back in the day, in the times of Roman emperors. Nearly 2,000 years old. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's a clock. It might be the oldest clock I've ever seen. That's amazing. I cannot read it. 423. Very cool, very cool. So they had ways of telling the time back in uh, ancient Rome, Roman times. Uh, yeah, see this looks like a little bit of a courtyard, I'm guessing maybe some kind of a bath. Oh, this is like a pond with a bird bath. Possibly a fountain, but I would imagine they might have had fish in there. Uh, they might have had like uh, food for the birds and in the top. <laughs> the private bath of the large residential building yeah this is what I, this is what I was saying <coughs> so we'll, we'll go and check that out in a minute I just want to have a little wonder around around this piece give you guys an idea of, uh, of what it looks like I'm going to head over to that <coughs> Stonehenge looking thing. Excuse me. <coughs> I love these pillars, they're really nice. In fact, they're so nice. I'm gonna take a picture. With the pond and the bird bath. Or oh, what I'm guessing is is as such maybe like a private bath house. So yeah, we're going to wander in here, four minutes in, okay? So yeah, this private bath leads on to the, the main merchant street. So I'm guessing rich and poor were living pretty much on top of each other. I would have, ex I guess it is a posh district because you've got the law house here and and you've got the games and stuff. So maybe this is like a nicer part of town. I'm just going to try and get us into, into this Stonehenge looking thing over here. I'm not sure we can get, I thought you could get in because of that. I'm not sure what these things are. Yes. 
been making progress guys it's a labyrinth all over again how amazing is this so i think this part is public bathhouse and over there is a private bathhouse We are going to um, take a couple pictures quick. While well, we're here, All right? What well, if people are dressed up? <laughs> Hello, see ya. <laughs> That's cool to see, yeah? Some real Romans. I think they said hello to me in, uh, in like Latin, but I don't know any Latin, so I didn't recognize the word. That's, uh, that's amused me, that has. To see uh, people that are dressed up as they would have been back in the day. I'm guessing this is like a big bath. Yeah, this is a big bath. Alright guys, and these are also public baths here. So now we're gonna wander back around. I'm gonna wrap this one up in a minute. Um, I'll take you, oh in fact we got that little that little section there, haven't we? So I was just uh just thinking how do I say very good so good is yo nayon is very so I'm gonna compliment them on what they're wearing in Hungarian because I don't know Latin I don't know the, the language of the Romans it's a uh, is it classed as a dead language now oh they've disappeared anyway Yeah, they've vanished. But at least you know how to say very good. Nayonyo. I think this might be the remains of a private bath as well. Because of where the last sign was positioned was right there. And it says about the bath. So these are really old ruins. Look at this. It's really perished here. Perhaps this was the <coughs> excuse me, perhaps this was the early part of the settlement. Ah, oh, we find our space. Yeah. Okay guys, we are going to wander over here. See if there's a way to get around because that was the indication I got from looking at the map. If that was the northeastern corner of bathhouse, then it looks to look like it goes on a bit further. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, gonna wrap. Hello. Hello. See ya. No, see ya. <laughs> I think maybe she, oh she was on the phone before she was talking to me. She said hello anyway. <laughs> I didn't see the earpiece, I just heard someone talking and I thought she's talking to me. Right, I don't know what's down there. We're gonna go up to here. Does this place go on further? Or oh, maybe maybe it doesn't guys. I know there are museums here too. What does this say? I mean, I don't know if you meant our employee entrance 
70. Okay, okay. So we can't get over that. Well, I can get you over there. Look at that. You're taller than me. Got the giant's blood. This is what the world looks like for a giant. And then a very old style building. I guess this is repurposed. Maybe this was the best condition house, perhaps, and they've just put a new modern roof on it or whatever. But that is really cool that there's a building that at least looks like it might have been complete. In fact, there's, there's a sign right here. Let's check it out. The, the myth Raum, Raum of Simphors and Marcos. So some kind of shrine here. South Town Wall. 